environmental. <laughs> it's November once again, and we'll be taking a look at another Mothra movie. Now, yay. <laughs> Today's movie is the rebirth of Mothra. Wait, Mothra died? And I missed it? It happened in Mothra vs. Godzilla, you know, like two years ago. Alright, whatever, let's get to the film. At a logging company in Hokkaido, a stone artifact is discovered. One of the executives, Yachio Gato, prized the medallion seal of the Elias off of the artifact, which sensed by three fairies the Elias. Shobajing Cosmos Elias? Come on, make up your mind! Afterwards, a tremor occurs. Two kids, Taiki and Wakaba Gato, are fighting over a book. Their mother, Makiko, gets into a fight with her husband over the phone because work is keeping him from returning home. Two of the fairies, Laura and Maul, pray to their guardian, Mothra, summoning the small fairy Mothra who gives them a ride. Yuichi manages to get home later that night and searches for a chain to put the medallion on, intending to give it to Wakaba. He places it around her neck as she sleeps. Arriving at the uncovered relic, Laura and Maul find the medallion missing and worry about the creature it had sealed away. Strangely, objects in Wakaba's room begin moving on their own as she greets someone. G -g -g ghost I didn't care for that, Zazen. The next morning, Yuichi gets a phone call about the news report about the uncovered relic. Wakaba begins attacking her brother, flinging him around the room with her mind. Makiko comes in and tries to stop the fight while Yuichi leaves for work distracting her. It seems Wakaba is being manipulated by the third Elias, Belvira. Belvira? No, Belvira. How could you mistake a tiny little woman for processed cheese? I have... issues. After school, Taiki is waiting for his sister, who is actually at home eating junk food. Belvira messes with Taiki when he gets home, sicking a dog after him. After Taiki is chased up a tree, Belvira reveals her control over the dog and Wakaba. After the dog kind of goes away, Taiki climbs down from the tree, and he meets the good Elias, who wish him no harm. He falls from the tree from shock, but the Elias use their powers to keep him from harm. Inside the home, Belvira sees a report about the uncovered seal. When her dragon steed Garu Garu blocks her view of the TV, Bavera kicks a golf ball at it in which it ends up startling Taiki. Fairy Mothra breaks in through the window and battles with Garu Garu causing mayhem around the house. Taiki unties his mother who tries to wake Wakuba. After a bit more destruction, Taki catches Garu Garu in a butterfly net and gets drug around. Garu Garu shoots a beam at Taki and his mother, but Fairy takes the blow instead. This scene is funny, but poor Fairy. <laughs> I feel bad. Belvera then flees with the seal of Ellis. In the aftermath, Wakaba snaps out of her brainwashed state. With Fairy injured, Laura and Maul apologize for causing a mess and say that Belvira is headed for the relic in Hokkaido. In Hokkaido, Yuichi arrives just as the mountainside explodes. The Elias explain that Belvira stole an item that had sealed away an evil space monster, Desgidora. The explosion in Hokkaido stops, revealing a massive stone formation that has emerged from the ground. Did a volcano just form out of another volcano? Volcanoes can do that, yes, uh, but I don't think this is a volcano. <laughs> the Gatos fly to Hokkaido with Fairy and the Elias who are dressed as dolls so they don't stand out. Luigi, controlled by Belvira, drives a bulldozer rigged with explosives towards the stone formation. He's thrown from the bulldozer before crashing into the formation and exploding. With the stone formation weakened, Belvira flies closer to the formation and uses the power of the seal of Elias to destroy it completely as everyone around her flees in panic. 
The Elias arrive on a kite controlled by Taiki and knock Garu Garu out of the sky. The Elias recover the seal, but they are too late. Makiko helps her husband get to safety while the Elias heal Fairy with the seal, just as Desgidora begins emerging. Okay, now it looks like a volcano. The Elias lead the children through the forest to safety as Desgidora finally breaks free from its prison, to Belvira's delight. The Elias explain that Death Ghidorah will consume the energy of the forest to restore itself until it can fly that they insist to summon Mothra to deal with the space monster. They entrust Wakuba with the protecting the seal of Elias before parting ways. Laura pleads with Mole not to summon the elderly Mothra, but Mole knows that right now only Mothra can stop Death Ghidorah like she did before. The Elias find Makiko and Yuichi and tell them where to find their children before flying off. The Elias then perform a song to summon Mothra. Some things never change. The children get into a fight while their parents search for them. Mothra arrives to battle Des Ghidorah. Realizing that she's old, Belvedere orders Death Ghidorah to finish off the elderly Mothra. With the fight not going Mothra's way, the egg begins to hatch, which worries the Elias due to it being too early. The Elias sing to give the larval Mothra Leo strength that he may help his mother. Leo makes his way to his mother's location. Desgidora sets the forest on fire. Belvira shows up and steals the seal of Elias from the children, but Mothra stops her. The children try to heal Mothra with the seal, and while it doesn't work at first, they do manage to get it to heal Mothra a little. Leo arrives in Hokkaido as day breaks and joins the battle against Des Ghidorah. It goes about as well as you'd expect a fight between an infant and a dragon would. I got the strangest feeling of deja vu. Mothra rejoins the fight with Des Ghidorah. The parents spot the children who cheer Mothra on. Despite their best efforts, the Mothras take a beating. The Gatos are reunited. Leo sneaks away by camouflaging itself, but Death Ghidorah finds him. As the Gatos get to safety, Death Ghidorah deals Mothra a fatal blow. The dragon also destroys the nearby dam, washing itself away. With the last of her strength, Mothra carries Leo out to sea, and then Mothra sinks into the ocean as she passes away. Oh, wow. I know we hadn't exactly seen eye to compound eye, but it, it's kind of sad to see it end like this. You have respect for Mothra. Shut up. The Elias tell the Gotos of Mothra's fate and reveal that Leo is leaving to get stronger. As Descador continues to rampage, the Gato family recovers in a crowded hospital. Death Ghidorah sprouts wings and takes to the sky while Leo continues to swim home to recover. The reporter who was covering the unearthed relic earlier confronts Yuichi for releasing Death Ghidorah unaware of the truth of the situation. Taki affirms that Mothra will come and save them. Leo arrives at a large tree several thousands of years old. The Elias sing to help Leo cocoon himself and draw power from the tree. Leo digivolves to... Mothra Leo Mon! Taiki and everyone in the hospital see a news report about Leo's growth spurt. While his mother doubts whether Leo can stop Des Ghidorah, Taiki tells his parents that bees kill more people than snakes and to not underestimate Leo just because he's a moth. He and Wakaba go to cheer on Leo. Leo flies past the plane to confront Def Ghidorah. Belvira spots Leo, grows worried, and the two kaijus face each other in the sky. Garo Garo is damaged in the fight and Belvira falls to the forest below. Leo splits into smaller moths to swarm around Death Ghidorah. He recombines and fires pillars of energy at the space monster. Death Ghidorah takes to the sky again, but Leo knocks him right back down. That's one heck of a turnaround. <laughs> Belvira survived her crash, but her robotic dragon did not. Wait, that was a robot? Suddenly, the Elias save her from a fire. 
The fight between Leo and Desgadora continues, with Leo still dominating the battle, destroying the space monster once and for all. That was one heck of a good fight. The children return the seal of Elias to Laura and Maul, who use it to seal Desgador's remains away once more. Taiki tries to catch Belvira as she tries to escape. Belvira warns the Elias to never trust humans before fleeing. Laurel and Maul reveal that Belvira is their sister. Leo arrives, allows the children to ride him for a while. Their parents reflect on the damage done to the area, comes to a decision to work on building a better future. Wait, this movie has an ecological message? Weren't you paying attention? I'm out! Leo restores life to the plants in the area, allowing flowers and trees to bloom once more. Fairy Mothra thanks Taiki for saving her, and Leo and the Elias leave for home. Bye, Leo. We'll miss you. You do know there was a sequel, right? Two, in fact. Rebirth of Mothra was a great movie. Yeah, the story of a dysfunctional family reconnecting is actually pretty good. And the creature designs and the special effects were very well done. It has aged poorly in some parts, but we've seen worse. So, do you still fear Mothra? Hey! I never feared Mothra. I just didn't respect her. Now I kind of do. Well, that's good to hear. For Gamma Zoan, this has been Kaiju Reviewed. See ya! Bye!